Welcome to this tutorial on dealing with repositories. In the second section, we will look at installing a subversion client. Windows, in the form of Tortoise SVN, has one of the easiest to use subversion clients. The operating system that I'm running is a fairly old Windows XP Home Edition that is set up to run in a virtual machine on my Mac, but the installation should be quite similar. Let's go ahead. You can find Tortoise SVN using one of your favorite uh, search engines using your favorite browser. Just type in Tortoise SVN. You will easily recognize it as one of the top hits. Once you click on the link, just getting through the firewall, it'll take you to the Tortoise SVN website. Like the majority of software we are using, Tortoise SVN is both free and open source, and you can read about the project on their website. Depending on your operating system, you can navigate to Downloads, and choose either the 32-bit or 64-bit operating system version. Click on it. And download. Once done, we can open the downloaded file and follow the on-screen instructions to install. When finished, I recommend that you restart Windows for the changes and the new software to actually take effect. In the next section, we're going to start to actually play around with the repository. So I thank you for joining. Mm -hmm.